Hey there, and welcome to this step-by-step -step video on how to build your own iontophoresis device, effectively stopping your sweaty hands and feet from their endless perspiration. The picture shown here is going to be what your basic setup will look like. I'm just going to quickly go over the materials required to build your iontophoresis device, and then we'll get right into the step-by-step -step video demonstration on how to use it. So let's get right into it. Now just a quick word of caution here, you should not use this device if you're pregnant or have a pre-existing heart condition as it does use low-level electrical currents that may or may not be prohibited by your doctor. I'm not trying to scare you, this is a safe treatment procedure, but you should consult with your physician or dermatologist before you begin the treatment. The materials required to build your own iontophoresis machine are cheap. It's going to cost you less than $35 to put this together if you have to buy everything I'm listed, listing here. And you know, chances are you have a lot of this stuff sitting around in your kitchen cabinets or in your garage. Either way, even if you had to buy all the stuff I'm going to list out, it's going to be over 20 times cheaper than buying an iontophoresis device from an industrial supplier. The market price for these things can range up to $700. Um, also, if you're using a flash-enabled browser, I have Amazon links to the right of this video where you can have these supplies shipped directly to your doorstep no matter where you live in the world. So that should make this project pretty convenient for you. Now first up, you're going to need a 12 volt lantern battery. This is the power source for your iontophoresis device and it's going to supply the low level electrical current uh, to your hands or feet. Now I use the Rayovac lantern battery shown here. It's a good name brand that's durable and has a low price and you can get one of these for about ten dollars or less. You can pick one up from Walmart, Amazon, or most hardware stores. You're also going to need a pair of alligator clips. And these are also called test leads to transfer the current to your hands or feet. And these are cheap and they're also available from the same kind of stores I've mentioned. I have a red and a black one to help identify them during the treatment and you'll see why in a bit. You're also going to need aluminum pie pans. The pans are going to conduct the current from the battery to your hands or feet using the alligator clips. Now the pans I have featured in this video are a little more expensive than, let's say, buying disposable hefty aluminum pie pans. Really, you can use any kind of pan that conducts electricity. I do recommend getting pans that are durable versus disposable ones. It'll save you a lot more money in the long run. And if you're going to be doing this procedure regularly, the pie pans shown in the video are the way to go because they won't oxidize. And you can pick them up for $15 or less. If you plan on doing this treatment on your feet, um, you'll want larger pie pans. For the purposes of this video demonstration, I'll be showing you how to perform iontophoresis on your hands, but the exact same procedure can be performed on your sweaty feet using these larger aluminum pie pans. You're going to need water as well, and you're going to pour the water into the pans and submerge your palms or feet in the pans, allowing the current from the battery to conduct evenly through your skin. You'll want to use salt. Salt is going to increase the conductivity of the water and improve your results. Aquaphor is also very important. Aquaphor is the bee's knees, and the deal is, as you perform this treatment more and more, you may experience irritation where your skin meets, meets the water line. Uh, you might also experience discomfort if you have any cuts on your hand or fingers. I myself love Aquaphor because occasionally I bite my nails. And if I ever get myself really bad, I can just put some Aquaphor over my cuticles or nails to prevent any unnecessary stinging. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to freak you out. This treatment doesn't hurt, but if you do have sensitive skin, Aquaphor can make you comfortable immediately. So here's what you do. Just take a small amount of it out of the tube before the treatment and apply it directly to any cuts or irritated skin. And it creates a protective barrier between your skin and the water during the session. Just make sure not to get any on your palms or else the treatment will be less effective. Now that you know exactly what you'll need for this treatment, let's take you through the step-by-step -step procedure. Okay then, so once you have all your materials laid out, this should pretty much be your setup. First and foremost, you'll have your 12 volt lantern battery. And next, a pair of your aluminum pie pans, or larger pans if you're treating your feet. You'll also have your pair of alligator clips here to conduct the current. And 
you're going to unscrew the screws on the top of your battery just a bit so the metal from the alligator clips uh, comes into contact with the battery conductors. And I'm going to remove my wedding ring here, and you should too if you have one. The first time you do this, also, um, you shouldn't add salt. But for this demonstration, I'm going to. And this helps conduct the current a little better through your skin. And just like I mentioned, aquaphor. We're going to use that, and that will help with any kind of irritation during the treatment. Now I'm just going to go ahead and grab a big old scoop of water in my two cup Pyrex measuring cup. Don't bring your pans to the water, bring the water to the pans. I learned this the hard way. I'm a little clumsy with the water and uh, I'm sure I'll be spilling it throughout this demonstration. Also you don't want to fill the pans all the way to the top, just enough to submerge your palms and two cups should do it. Now I'm going to shake some salt into the pans. You don't want to start adding salt into the mix until you've done this about four or five times and you're confident with your results. There's really no exact way to do this. I'm just going to give it a quick shake here trying to spread the salt evenly. And now you're going to attach one of the alligator clips to the battery and the other side of the clip to one of your pans. It doesn't matter which charge you start with on the battery or the color. It's up to you. I'm going to start off with the positive side. I like to use red for the positive charge. But it doesn't matter what you use. Um, and you never want to connect both alligator clips to the same plate while connected to the battery. That's a very fast way to destroy your battery. So we'll just connect this black one here to the other charge. And next you'll want to apply Aquaphor to any kind of sensitive skin. And just use a dab. I'm going to put some on my nail cuticles here because uh, you know they can sting a bit if I don't use this stuff. So that's it. Now you're going to submerge your palms and you know if this is, well, I'll just show you. We're going to use just a little bit here. I just kind of put it on my nails here. So now we're going to submerge uh, our palms and if this is your first time I recommend doing them one at a time. When you add your second palm to the second pan, you're going to complete the charge and the treatment's going to begin. Although it doesn't hurt, it may feel a little strange and that's totally normal. It'll subside in a few seconds. You don't want to touch your pans to the bottom of the water, uh, your palms to the bottom of the pans. Um, you just want to kind of keep them submerged in the water. And if you're not used to it, you might have trouble figuring out the level that works. One thing you can try is putting a small sponge um, in between you and the bottom of the pans. And from this angle of the video, it's difficult, but uh, you know my hands are not completely submerged. They're kind of hovering. And through the magic of video editing, it's 10 minutes later. So here we're going to reverse the polarity of the charge. And remember, you never touch the alligator clips together while they're still, still attached to the battery. They can spark, and uh, once again, it's not good for the battery. So the charge is reversed and uh, we're going to submerge our hands again for another 10 minutes. You want to perform this procedure for five consecutive days and I know you're going to get fantastic results you know by the fifth day. After the first couple of days your hands will start to feel smoother in the morning after you wake up and the dryness will start lasting longer into the afternoon with each consecutive iontophoresis session that you have. Generally speaking though in the next 10 to 14 days you'll experience the full effect of drier hands or feet. And after you get to that point, the rest is just maintenance. Now, I perform iontophoresis treatments only once every two weeks or so, and it's really become very unobtrusive to the regimen um, at the end of my day. Um, if you experience irritation, or can go longer than two weeks between treatments, well then go for it. You know, I've heard back from many people who do this maybe once a month, and their sweating used to be very chronic, um, you know, so, you know, now they can do, th do this treatment, you know, uh, much more um, uh, intermittently and spread out. So there you have it, your very own iontophoresis device put together and in use in less than five minutes. And your materials are very easy to access. They should cost you less than $40, 
you know, versus the average $600 price tag of a commercial product. And if you're watching this on a Flash-enabled browser, I have some Amazon links. So really, there's no excuse not to start these treatments. You, know, you can see results in just a couple of days. So go for it. Order your materials today, and let me know about your fantastic results. Feel free to comment below. I love hearing your feedback, and I can't wait to hear from you. Take care. Bye-bye.